guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're going to be doing another Broke Bitch Review <laughs> on the, hang on, hang on, I have to tell you the whole name because it has nine words as the name of this product, so hang on. It is the Marc Jacobs Beauty Shameless Youthful Look 24 Hour Foundation SPF 25. Why the hell does it have such a long name? Essentially what this foundation is, to my understanding, it is a uh, SPF foundation that provides 24-hour uh, wear that does not have flashback from the SPF that's within it, which is a huge problem whenever you wear foundation with SPF. A lot of times you will get that flashback in photographs. It's just kind of something that you kind of have to deal with if you want the SPF in your foundation. So supposedly this one doesn't have that. So as far as this foundation goes, it retails for $46. It is in a super cool squeezy tube. Uh, whenever I was getting the sample of that, I did kind of play with it and that was cool. At first I kind of thought, wow, that's a really like cheap packaging for a $46 foundation. But then as I played with it, I was like, okay, I mean, I, I kind of understand because like it was like the squeeze. <laughs> Coverage is medium. Hmm. <laughs> I'm a full coverage queen. I don't know if that shit's going to work, <laughs> but we're going to try. We're going to try to make it work. It says that it is for basically every single skin type. I am combination oily. Um, it says the finish is natural with SPF 25. An innovative medium buildable foundation with 24 hour wear and first to market flashback free SPF 25 for a youthful look. So out of 270 reviews, this product has four stars. We just gonna apply it to our face and see how it goes, okay? I have already primed and moisturized my face. I'm ready to rock and roll. So I think what I'm gonna do is use a brush on one side and a beauty sponge on the other and see how it goes. I've heard rumors that it goes on a heck of a lot better with a sponge, but I do wanna try it with a brush just to kind of see for myself how shitty it truly is. It smells like sunscreen. It smells like straight up sunscreen. Fantastic, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna pour some on the back of my little hand here. Oh, it's not moving. <laughs> Hi, how do I get you out of there? Um, okay, that's not working. Hi, let's get a spatula. All right, so we're just gonna spatula out. How can this be medium coverage when it is so thick it wouldn't move? Here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the brush side first because if it turns out really shitty, I'm gonna go over it with my sponge so you guys can't tell. <laughs> All right, so the brush that I'm going to be using is the Tarte. So it says Tarte, so it's just a big old Tarte brush, yay! I believe this was in like a holiday set, so it's probably like some sort of foundation kabuki, but you don't got a name, so I don't know what to call you. So we're just gonna dip on in. Bing, 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 okay. I'm gonna scooch up real close to my mirror because I can't see. And let's apply. Oh. This isn't as bad as I thought. Okay. What is occurring? You're not even blending into my skin. You're just painting my hair. What is happening here? Like, I don't even see any foundation on my forehead. Mm -hmm. All right, what the actual hell? Okay, well I had I had small hopes, but now they've all died. We're gonna try maybe a smidgen more if I put it directly to the to the spot. Let's see what happens. Ew! <laughs> okay, so my first thoughts other than ew is it is just sitting on the top of my skin. It is not blending in. It looks so patchy. Like, I look like I have dry skin, like with dry patches all over my face. I don't understand what's going on with my forehead. I literally look like I have scales on my forehead. I don't have scales on my forehead. It's not even blending in at all. And down here on my neck, look how shitty this looks. There are so many things wrong right now. <laughs> okay, let's try not to explode from anger. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it straight from my little pot with my spatula iron. Blend it in with a blender. <laughs> it's so good. And we're gonna hopefully pray to Jesus that it actually looks better because this looks like I put it on with like a finger. Here we go. It 
did apply 10 million percent better with the beauty spongy. However, my pores are still emphasized. And I put on a pore filling primer. And it's like my holy grail, so you know, it's not my primer's fault. It covered my forehead a thousand times better. It didn't blend the best though. I still look like I have scales on my forehead. I am so confused about where that is even coming from. But I am, I, what I do know is I'm going to put just a smidge more on this side to um, try to help it. <laughs> Let's see if it helps. Now that I went back over it on this side, it looks a million times better, but it still just looks like it's sitting on the top of my skin. I definitely got it to work, I think. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face. I'm gonna put it all together here. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face and then I will come back here and hopefully it hasn't all sloughed off. Ugh, that word, why do I keep using it? I hope that I still have foundation on by the time that I'm done applying 600 powders to my face. We shall see. Um, but so far this review is going really well. Oh, it's already creasing. All right guys, so I'm gonna try to end this quickly because um, it's been a fiasco trying to put on the rest of my makeup. I'm really hungry and I'm losing my mind, I think. So as far as this foundation goes, I hate it. <laughs> oh, straight to the point. Okay, love these kind of videos. My face feels like I have um, a blow dryer. No, what? I don't even know what the analogy that I'm trying to make. It's basically dry as hell. I feel like my face has been like sunburnt 64 times and I just never put on lotion and my skin is crepey and crusty and contracted and it's just ugly. Does it look okay? I mean, I think so. I, I did the best that I could to make it work. So I don't think it looks as bad as it feels. I feel very dry and I'm oily AF. So how my face feels dry right now is weird. <laughs> this is a new adventure for me. I'm just not impressed by this, literally, like, at all. I mean, I will kind of... Can you see my forehead? <laughs> I did the best that I could to, like, hide it, hide the scaliness with bronzer and whatnot, and I think I did an okay job. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't ever think I will use the rest of that sample again. I'm probably just gonna throw it away, because I think for $46, that foundation is a waste of your dollar bills. Like, we are over here in the Broke Bitch Review Corner. We don't have a lot of money to be spending on foundation that sucks. And in my opinion, this foundation sucks. So I do not suggest buying it. Yeah, like, I feel like it's oxidized on my neck, maybe? It's like... I don't know. It looks really, like, yellowy almost here. And I bought the one that had, like, a pinkish undertone. Like, I didn't even get the one with the yellow undertone because I knew that would just be bad news, like, from the start. So... Meh. This one's a flop for me. This foundation felt like it was kind of a, like, it wanted to be a BB cream or like a CC cream. Like it wanted to be like that, but it also wanted to be a foundation. So it was just kind of like stuck in the middle and it just didn't look good. Ooh, let's check the flashbackness, shall we? All right, so I'm gonna turn on my camera. Okay, so remember whenever I first was reading about this, it said that there would be no uh, flashbacks or no flashback when you take a picture. So I'm going to, I'll move further away it says. Um, I can't. <laughs> Why am I so bad at this? Okay, where's the button? <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> this does not look good. What? Okay, so that's the photo. There you go. That's the photo that I just took. How is that not flashback? My entire, like, this area is just lit up like a Christmas tree. Maybe it's because it was, okay, maybe it's because it was on portrait mode. Let's try, let's try the other mode. Okay. I can't find the button. Okay, maybe I was too far away. <laughs> I'm never going to get this right. Okay, where's my finger over the button? Okay. Uh, I can't take a normal photo. I'm going blind. Yeah, I'm still not convinced. Um, I still think that looks kind of shitty. <laughs> Me personally, granted I'm not very photogenic, so I take crappy photos to begin with, but that just looks like Flashback City to me. So, ah, this foundation's a waste of money, and I think that's that. Don't spend your money on it.
<laughs> Alright guys, I hope that you enjoyed this really strange uh, approach review. Um, it, these are always so much fun to film, so if you guys have a product that you would like me to try, get myself a good old sample of, and review it for you, I would absolutely love to do that, so please leave that down in the comments below. Give this video a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you go and click that notification button. Get notified every single time that I upload because YouTube will not tell you regularly because I am too small of a channel for them to actually give a shit about. <laughs> I'm going to put my uh, socials down below. I am trying really hard to be a lot more active and engaged on them because once again all of the social media algorithms are just trying to screw over us little people and we will never grow ever so please help my baby um, socials grow and my baby channel grow and everything else because I just want to, you know, make good content for you guys and I want to have friends. <laughs> I'm so hungry. I want to be done. Alright guys, I think that's it. I'm going to quit rambling and go eat myself a quesadilla because that's all I can think about. Okay? So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>